Hi folks, Bob Collins for Diver Supply. I'm here at the computer counter here in the Jacksonville store, and usually what we end up seeing is when folks step up to this counter, they've got three main questions they're trying to get answered. And those are, how much does it cost? How easy is it to function? And how easy is it to see? And in this particular video, I'm gonna be talking about this computer right here. And this is the Cressy Giotto. And the Giotto is kind of the next step beyond Cressy's Leonardo. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back in the studio and take a look, a close look, at all the particulars on the Giotto. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down there. And of course, if you like it or if you've got comments, we've got a space down there for you to, to hit that like button or to list your comment if you're diving with one of these computers that I've got sitting here. So stick with me, I'll be right back. All right, we're back here in the uh, studio I've got quite a bit of glare, and the reason why is because the Giotto has this replaceable plastic scratch protector over the lens. Protector is easily replaceable if your unit gets scratched up. Of course, the Giotto has a little larger display than the slightly older Leonardo. The Giotto has a, a new algorithm, and the algorithm in the Giotto is said to be uh, a bit more friendly for multiple di uh, day dives and multiple days of diving with, uh, and of course you can dive air, nitrox, either one, that sort of thing. It's got some nice audible alarms and visual alarms. Your ascent rate alarm is right here in the middle to give you some understanding. The software will handle two different levels of oxygenated uh, gas, which can be selected during the dive if you, if you need to. Uh, it's got full processing of dive data. It's uh, optional to do a, a nitrox dive after an air dive. Now to go over just a couple of the particulars about the Giotto, it is entirely designed and manufactured uh, in Italy and it's got a high definition screen. It's, it's a little bit bigger screen than what we saw on the Leonardo, so therefore the numerical numbers and such uh, are a little easier, a little bigger, a little easier to see. You've got audible alarms. You've got uh, software will handle two different levels of oxygenated gas that can be changed during the dive. You can do a nitrox dive and then an air dive. It has gauge settings if you like. Your deep stop can be turned on or off, and it's got a replaceable, uh, user replaceable battery. Uh, it uses metric or uh, imperial, which is really nice, and you have the ability to set your PO2 for somewhere between 1.2 and 1.6. A lot of us set our, um, our PO2 at 1.4. There is a graph on here for your CNS. And again, I encourage everybody to get Nitrox certified. It does have a backlit display. So if you're in a, uh, maybe diving at night or a darker area, it makes it easy to see. Built-in calendar and clock. And of course, it uh, has a dive log for up to 60 dives. It is fully resettable. If you happen to put it into a rental situation, which makes it nice. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wake it up, reach down. You can push any of these buttons. You see, I woke it up. And what we're able to do is we're able to walk through our different modes on here. Like there's our, dog, uh, our log mode. Of course, there's no logs on here. Uh, now we're in our mode, so if we wanted to adjust it, you can see right up here, it's uh, set for, um, for nitrox. I think you can read nitrox right there. I set it for that earlier. And then we can just kind of walk all the way through. There's our uh, time and date setting. You can do this one set for 24 hour. Uh, that's our dive planning. So you're able to look. And of course, uh, between dives, you can look at what your residual nitrogen would be and how it affects 
your no decompression limit for your next dive. Again, back to the home screen, 24 hour. I can adjust my time, date and such there. And here's where I do my dive planning. And there's my gauge. I've got gauge mode set off. Here's where I link it up to my PC. It uses a dock that's not included. This is not a Bluetooth unit and the, uh, the dock is optional. This will, unit will hold up to 60 dives, so it's really nice that you're able to do that. And then this shows your system for updating. And then we're back here to our home screen. Uh, it can use metric or imperial. And of course it has visual and auditory alarms. It even has a little battery indicator there. The uh, battery is user replaceable. So if you happen to be uh, diving somewhere and your battery gets low, you can take an extra battery with you just in case. Backlit display, uh, built-in calendar, optional for reset, uh, a lot of different things along those lines. And uh, it's really such a nice computer at this particular price point. Uh, it can be an entry level, can be advanced, can be a rescue diver, it can be dive master. Gosh, this thing can actually be used for so many uh, instructor level usage. So, uh, and, and of course it'll even go into deco if you uh, should uh, happen to run into that situation uh, unexpectedly. So the, the Giotto is a great unit, value priced. I'm going to put a link down below. Take a look at that. I think you'll see that this is a hell of a deal, uh, especially right here at Christmas time in 2019. So again, we appreciate you guys watching. I didn't want to drag this on too long. I wanted to try to get this up today. But as we always say here at Diver Supply, dive safe out there, folks. Thanks for watching. 